so Friday morning here. Uh, you can see it's, uh, I'll try to go slow here. Uh, first time I did this. But anyway, it, the lighting is not uh, the greatest, but you can see that uh, Richard did a very long, slow pass all the way down uh, on Spears left here. So the net line will go in pretty much where we had it last week. We can go as wide as the uh, corduroy because we can always slip out the net line and move a little bit of snow over to fill it up where there's where there's gaps. But I'd still stay, uh, we gotta stay two meters away from those guns. But, and of course, if we're training GS down, we should have But go so down as far as the rock cut, it's all good here. Uh, he has the, he, uh, Richard just did, uh, he just crawled down the net line yesterday. I was out watching him. I think he might have even snagged it once. Uh, I don't know. Nobody saw it, so he must not have done it. The, uh, the two boxes, number five and six, loaded with the net have gone back up top. So they're all good. He groomed over uh, basketball. Uh, all the, uh, we had trimmed down all the, uh, all the bushes here the other day uh, when we were doing I did some and then we did the bean up so there's lots of room we can uh, come right out of the start if we want just a little bit of work to, to shovel that out and then down on the net line I don't know about uh, you but if we got 50 kids out here today there's got to be some parents they're not training right here but here you can see all, all we have to do is stand this net up properly and get it inside the uh, get it inside the snowbank and then we can just slip it out with uh, uh, one leg as well. We don't want to do it backwards, a little bit easier on the knee. But some folks could just hold that in. Now we're getting down here where I really, uh, I don't know, I don't have kids, uh, I don't have kids training today. But hey, if you've got, I don't care what you're training, if you set up the net and you skirted it, why it's still hanging up there, I'll come back up and do this in a few minutes because we really should have it done. I mean, we'll put it in for a minute. And uh, everybody said, well, we're only training small, and that's all well and good until they go into the net. Uh, all this has to be pulled up. You can see how, how short it is here. But uh, it shouldn't take too long. It just won't have to come in very far, just far enough to stay away from all the uh, trees. So two meters along there. Uh, so it does have to come in some. But it's all, uh, I guess I should watch what I'm doing. It's all good. I'll just upload this and then I'll. Uh, you can see the net at the bottom here. It's, uh, it's pretty ugly lined up. So that has to be, uh, that has to be picked up. And certainly the snow's going to be so soft. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have some, uh, some parents actually just sneaking in and slipping every 10 racers or so just so they don't hurt themselves coming down here you can see that other training lane up there uh i thought it was going a little bit further to skiers right but that's not my department uh anyway you can see there's not that much work to do for the folks walking up tomorrow this should only take uh an hour so next time you might want to keep this starting at nine o'clock instead of ten because uh, everybody will be doing this net setup while the kids are training right beside. Anyway, that's it. That's all good.